I just have to get one thing straight with you. I don't make these calls up. I just answer the phone, okay? Okay, we have Karen on line seven, and she needs help making a decision. Karen on line seven. Yes, hi, David. Hi. Um, yes, um, I'm calling because um, my fiancé and I, we've been together for two years, and we've had a pretty sexual relationship, and um, very loving, but it's been kind of up and down lately. And um, it seems that our sex life is getting um, a little more progressive, and now... A little more what? A little more progressive. In what that, does progressive mean? Well, I mean, we started out with, like, um, videos, you know, um, porn films, and, um, you know, playing with um, uh, toys, and um, now it's getting into, um, like, living out some fantasies and stuff, and, and he mentioned that he'd like to have um, sex with um, me and another woman, and also with a female with me in the room with him. With a... A female. What is a female? Um, well, it's a man that um, has a penis and breasts and dresses like a woman. Where do you get one of these? Uh, well, I don't personally know, and I don't even know if he knows, but we've seen him on the adult films and stuff, and he seems to be very stimulated with that idea and i just wanted to find out you know um how much farther this could go and what the situation means chicken chicken i'm just saying what you say i just went into the barnyard with my mind oh, how far oh, could chicken. this go Lady, I don't know how far this oh, could yeah, go. We saw that how one far too. do you want this to go? How much farther? Yeah, I mean, what do you, uh, uh, is this pleasurable to you? Um. Well, a few. I years. can't believe I said with a chicken. <laughs> I don't believe I said that. I said that, so I didn't. Yeah, I? well. Go ahead. We probably saw the same film. We did. Well, no. Garen, why are you calling? To find out, you know, if there's something more here than... More here than... Fantasy. You, you're into kinky sex? Well, I'm open. Okay. Are you looking for permission? Excuse me? Are you looking for permission? No, I'm looking to see if there's something more in... Like what more? What do you fear? Um, well, <sighs> what, what are you afraid of? I've already had sex with two females and a male, so I've lived out that fantasy, two and that is no longer a fantasy for me. But two it is females and a male in one group with him? No, not with him, with someone else in my past. Okay, so you've been into this for a while. Yes. Okay, so what do you think that says about you? Well, I think I'm pretty sexual and pretty open-minded. Okay. So what do you want from me? You think this means you're bad or weird? No, uh, the, the female thing really bothers me. Ah, why does that bother you? Because I'm wondering if there's something more... You say that three times now. Tell me what something more means. I don't know what you mean by something more. Something more. Um, with, with him. Oh, you think he may be gay? Um, I don't know. Do you think... I think he... No, I think he... I don't think he's ever... Well, I don't know. Do you have a fear about it? Oh, I do. I mean, I wouldn't want to marry him and then find out later that he would leave me for a man because he'd like him okay, better so that, than me. But that's what you're worried about. Yes. So talk about it. Well, we have, and, and he says he? that he loves women. He would never do that. Oh. You but he's never experienced this, so I don't know if that's true. But you think he might get interested if he tried it? 
Well, he might. Oh, dear. There is a nerve, a, a nerve that comes out of the spinal cord. And the nerve is called the first sacral nerve, okay? And it innervates a lot of the perineum. It innervates the clitoris, the penis, the anus, all the regions around it. And it's just a stupid nerve. And when you stimulate that nerve, it reacts and produces a sexual reaction. And it's just a physiological response. But it gets trapped in all kinds of beliefs and systems and forms of behavior and perversion. And I think you have to pull your life a little bit back into shape. What you're afraid of, Karen, is losing control. Isn't that right? Uh, uh, well, I, I suppose. Well, that's what this call is about. You're afraid you're going to lose control over the stimulation of the, of the feelings that go through this nerve. I hate to reduce sex to just that one thing, but what do, you know, where's the love in the relationship? I mean, I, I'm not being moralistic, but the point is, without love, you need a lot of sex to give you stimulation. When there's a lot of love there, all sex is great, because it's just closeness with someone you really love. And if that's not enough, then all of the titillation in the world isn't going to make this better. And you ought to think about that. Because what you're really looking for, I think, is something that the relationship may not be giving you. Well, um, we don't have time for another call? I don't think so. No. It's amazing how these evenings go. You, you, you can't plan them. You can never uh, figure out... Uh, any of the direction of this thing, but there seems to be a lot of sex tanks. There's a lot of people who had sex as a child, a lot of people who were damaged, which leads me to the following thought. The injuries you suffer as a child always have some kind of lingering effect on you as an adult. When those feelings are sexual in nature, the feelings that are left to you in an adult are also sexual, except they don't remain the same because when you were dominated as a child the feeling you have as an adult is either that you were somehow a willing victim and therefore feel guilty and want to avoid sex or that you're terrified by all sex or that you need to master people and control them somehow when you're tampered with sexually as a child you lose the ability to be free as an adult and you gain that freedom back by expressing your feelings sharing your emotions and being willing to accept the feelings of the moment as they come. Arlene? David? Good night. Good night. Wasn't it? Yeah. I, I never can figure it out. Anyhow, we'll be seeing you next week, and I don't know what's going to happen then either. Take care. <laughs> <laughs>